Hello! Welcome to the Legacy Recorder channel. This episode video is going to be all about how to use photos to remember someone who's died, specifically with Canva. So this is basically a tutorial video on how to create a slideshow of someone who's passed away or multiple someones who's passed away using Canva. So what we're going to start with is the beginning of the process that I suggest people use is that they need to, you need to decide a couple of things. You need to decide on the photos you want to include, check with family if there are any you missed, choose your order. This is really important when it comes to doing it in Canva. <laughs> choose your order, put your photos in that order. So how we do that is actually I like to suggest people rename the photos, so make a copy of everything. So you have, sometimes when people send you photos, they'll actually name the file with the person's name, maybe the date, like the year, and sometimes where it happened or like where that photo was taken. So it's important not to lose that information. So once you've collected all of your photos, I recommend making a copy of everything in a separate folder on your computer um, or Apple or whatever you're on. I happen to be a PC, so I'm going to make a lot of PC references. So, you know, you can judge me now. So once you have everything collected in a separate folder, put them in order with, um, my suggestion is literally with numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> so that when you are going to put them in Canva, it is simple. So the rest of this video is going to be how to construct this thing inside Canva. It's really simple and I can't wait to dig in and show you. The last part after you put your photos in order is determining how you will display it. So whether you're going to put it on a TV screen, a computer monitor, or if you're doing like a Zoom screen share or something like that, um, that will help you decide how big the photos need to be and how big your design needs to be in Canva. Now, pretty much everything I'm going to show you in Canva is all on the free version, so you don't have to have a pro account. I do happen to have a pro account, so my dashboard will look a little different than yours And um, if you don't have a pro account. So with that, let's jump into the actual how-to part. So I like to start with um, you just create design and then I type in, I like using YouTube video um, because then you're able to actually download it as a video as well. So I always start with this template basically. And um, the past couple times I've created these presentations, um, I've we've just done a really basic black background. It seems to go over pretty well and um, a really simple font. So you would go select your first slide, I like to pick a dark background. This isn't quite black, um, but it happens to be in brand for legacy. So we'll grab black. Um, don't, um, when, before you start putting your photos in, if you want to grab and make a title slide, title slides are important. So um, we're just gonna type so-and-so. Um, <laughs> So oh, sometimes it's, you decide what you want the title to be. Um, different groups and families like different things. Often people will put the person's name. Um, so photos of so-and-so, and then the next line is presented by, and then sometimes there'll be even another line of um, where the presentation was being presented, if it was in person or the year or something like that. So we, let's see, we do photos. Don't mind me while I talk through this. Photos of so and so um, presented by. Um, now, this happens to be my branded font. I suggest using um, a serif font. Um, that is usually pretty well liked. So a Times New Roman is a serif font. Um, you can go pretty big on these. So somewhere in the 96 range um, totally works. Um, except presented by should probably be a little bit. So you can play around with different sizing and stuff. But that gives you an idea of what a title slide would look like. 
So when it comes to actually uploading things, I'm going to move my face. Um, so Canva, can't remember if Canva free has folders or not. So for the free people, sorry if you don't have folders. I'm pretty sure you do. Um, but maybe you don't. Anyhow, so I go through and I make folders. Um, so if you have, that way it collects all of the photos in one place. Um, but what, how I suggest people do this, if you can create a, fo a folder, great. If not, don't worry about it. But what you can actually do is, um, we'll go back to, I don't really need to go over here. So um, we're going to add a new page. And when you click add new page up here in the top right, it actually keeps the background color. Um, and the neat thing about Canva is that when you drop in a photo, and I'm just gonna use photos of myself um, so that I'm not using um, client photos. <laughs> so hold on one moment while I grab pictures of me. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, okay, I can do this, hold on. Do, 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 do. I wish I had like, had music. I could be playing music while I talk to myself. Um, do, 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 but not so much. Where is this? Oh, dagnabbit. I'm sure I have pictures of myself somewhere. I actually don't do a very good job of taking pictures of myself. It's really quite terrible. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's see. <sighs> okay, so we do have some pictures of me. Um, so what we're going to do is um, grab some pictures of myself. So when you are doing this. Um, you won't be able to see this part of my screen, but the whatever folder you have the pictures in, I like to drag the folder all the way down so I can only see one, like it's one column of pictures in the file folder. That way, um, and I can take a screenshot so you can see what I'm talking about. So um, that way you only have the when you actually drop it into Canva, um, it's already in order. So remember I had you put everything in order. Because you had everything in order, it will be very simple to just drag and drop. So just to show you what this looks like, because I took a screenshot. Um, as I go um again. Mm -hmm. I don't edit my videos, by the way, so just have fun listening to me ramble. A little bit. Okay, so here's the screenshot. I'm literally dragging and dropping right now. Boop. So you can see it actually centers it completely in the middle. It's already centered, so you don't even have to move it. So what you would do is grab each one of these as you came through and just go one tooth like you keep going. So um, that is what that file folder looks like with the images. And we will go back to where we were. And we'll just do a couple. So um, for this slide, I'm just going to grab a picture. And that's one picture. And then just do new page and grab another picture. And it literally puts it front and center, um, totally centered horizontally and vertically for you without ever touching it. And then you just new page and then grab the next one. So that's really it. Um, the other thing to do before you finish um, is to do a closing slide. Um, I've had people um, do ones where it's, you know, uh, a remembrance quote. Um, feel free to add quotes um, throughout. You can just do basic text um, and make sure you are including attributes when necessary. And if you are free account you can do you can actually add music in here so you can download this as a slide um, when you go to download you click downloads here you'll have the option to download it as a video because we picked the youtube video and you'll also be able to download as a pdf as multiple pngs which i don't recommend um 
that you can download as a PDF, um, which would be a good way to share if someone didn't want the video. Um, but it's really cool because you can download as a video. You can also share directly from Canva. So if you click share and you make this a link to watch and you copy that link, anyone who has the link can watch the presentation without it ever leaving Canva. So if you don't want to upload to YouTube or you don't have another thing like Wistia or Vimeo, um, you can actually just share it right out of Canva. So you don't even need another tool. You can create the slideshow, create the video inside Canva and share just as it is. Another really great thing is that if you make a mistake or if last minute someone says, oh my gosh, I need to add another picture, it's really simple. You just add another page and it's automatically updated and saved and it's instant. So the person, if they have the link open, they will have to refresh if you've made a change, I believe, so that you they can see the new changes. Um, but yeah, it's really simple and wonderful and it can be done pretty quickly closing slide you can put the end which is a little um you know that's what i'm looking for i was gonna say morose but it's not morose morbid ha huh, morbid a little morbid morbid but don't forget your end slide that's important too i hope that this video has helped you decide uh, to tackle that slideshow for someone you love and to create something that is memorable and wonderful you can add music right inside Canva, which is amazing. And there's lots of free titles to be able to use. And that is just amazing in this time of having to do things all virtually. And I hope that this gives you an opportunity and a path to move forward on a storytelling project for someone you love. If you have any questions at all, remember you can put them in the comments or shoot me an email or DM me on Instagram or whatever. So with that, I hope you have an incredible, wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe. Click whatever video I'm suggesting, <laughs> wherever I'm suggesting it on this screen. And I hope that I will see you again very, very soon. But until then, as always, happy writing.